This is a horrible gaming experience. I have to do better. So I actually hauled this up a flight of stairs all by myself. Thank goodness I work out. This is the Blue Whale gaming chair. I have everything in box, and these are all the parts along with the tools and instructions manual on how to assemble it. Don't worry, I'll show you. I just realized these washers won't be used. They're supposed to go underneath before I install the bolts on this. So I'll just loosen it, put it in here, tighten it, and then do the back instead of taking off the whole thing. Gotta think smart guys, gotta think smart. Move over, make room for a real gaming chair. Here is the gaming chair, fully assembled. Look at that beautiful glow. So this is the black 
with gold stitching. All right, you have these adjustable armrests. Check this out. It takes outward, inward, forward, and back, and both of these. And this, of course, high adjustable. Wow. Feel that cushion. This is definitely thick padding right there. Wow. It also features these memory foam headrest. Okay, I call these the wing tips. And you have this neck pillow right here. And if you look at this right here, this is the lumbar support, which is adjustable. And even comes with a massager. Yes, check this out. Wow, that's some strong vibrations right there. Oh yeah, let's not forget about that footrest. Wow, how many gaming chairs are for that? Of course, you have your typical height adjustable. And for this one, it even features tension control. So you can have a rocking back and forth. Let me just, enough talk, how about I just show you the features. So I'm 5'7", about 160 pounds now. I read that if you are a big guy, like 6 feet and above, and even 300 pounds, this is able to fit you nicely. So let's go ahead and go over the armrest feature. See? Up down. You can tilt it. Invert it. Very useful. And here is the... Tilt recline mechanism. I can go all the way down to 155 degrees. And you know what goes perfect with that? Of course, the footrest. So it goes back from 155 to 90. And check out this footrest. This is perfect for an afternoon nap. If you're tired from gaming, I just need a break from long study. Check this out. Wow, it's so comfortable. I could definitely take a nap like this. And it's also height adjustable. This has a good height reach. Look at that. So if you're a tall person, see? For me, I'll probably stick with the minimum. Oh yeah, almost forgot to mention, this even has tension control. So right now, it's in tight position, so you can barely rock. But you adjust this knob down here to loosen it by turning it uh, counterclockwise to loosen it and clockwise to tighten it. Let's go ahead and loosen it. Check it out. 20 degrees of rocking capability. Ooh, it's going to add another level of gameplay. Ah, my muscles are pretty achy. Let me turn on the massager. Oh. That's hit the spot right there. Ooh, let me just lounge like this. This is the life. All right, guys, so here's my final analysis of this gaming chair. First of all, I really love that black color with gold stitching. It reminds me of top of the line, like Acura Type R. And the adjustable armrest, of course. I just wish it's a little bit taller, you know, I guess for taller people. But even for me, see, it fits uh, right under the gaming table right here. And the high adjustable is plenty enough for tall people. And I want to make a slight correction. Actually, the maximum capacity you can support, the weight you can support is 350 pounds. So that's plenty of weight. And I love that reclining feature. It just makes it taking an afternoon nap and relaxing to another level. Then, of course, that footrest. I love the footrest. From now on, all of my gaming chairs have to have a footrest because this is what I look forward to. And of course, with the tension control, you can rock back and forth or have it firm like it is. And lastly, I'm actually surprised by how powerful the, uh, the, the massage function is. Because on the other ones that I've tested out, it tends to be weak, but that one actually has a quite strong buzz. So overall, I'm very happy. Let me get back to my gaming experience, all right?